Watch with 4409 and Mr. Spike Bravo here today. Uh, wave, wave to the camera. Anyway, you ain't going to believe what happened to Mr. Spike Bravo. Spike Bravo has a YouTube channel. It's called Spike Bravo. You can go to YouTube and type in Spike Bravo, or I may put it on my channel. You can go check it out. It's very funny stuff. You're more of a libertarian-leaning type of a leave-me-the-hell-alone type. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty libertarian. I'm very much a free thinker. I'm very much about asking the questions that matter, asking questions that make the people in power uncomfortable. <laughs> are, are some of those people cops? Why, well, yes, they are, and which <laughs> brings me to uh, one of the adventures that I had on Sunday morning as I was attempting to, while I was going to church, I was uh, pulled over on my electric bicycle by not one, not three, seven squad cars. I think That's it was right, more than like nine. But listen, folks, when I'm telling you about these pirates, you you guys... I mean, a lot of us, a lot of you take me serious, but a lot of them, you know, you, you get some, you know, people think, oh, come on, you know, it's not that big a deal. It is. Thank I mean, God you I had, have my video. I mean, when you guys me. see this video, he, he, this is the amazing thing. The man caught it all on video. Yeah. So, I mean, it shows you the stupidity that these guys, these, these uh, pirates, they don't care. And I honestly, I think this guy is mentally ill in his head, and I hope you guys call. I'm going to leave the number to the, the police department, and you guys call and tell them exactly how stupid these people looked. I mean, this guy has a, a it's, hold on, it's an electric bicycle, and when you see this video, guys, I, I'm not kidding. It, it, it is the most insane thing I've seen in, in quite a while. I, I mean, I've seen crazy crap before. I mean, this this takes the cake. And he gave you not one ticket, right? One I got five, one five, one, charges. five t charges. One ticket would have been bad because it was just stupid, yeah. right? But he gave you five. He wrote up the whole book because they're told to write up the whole book. If there's five charges on this, you got to write it all up, right? You can't you can't just have one. I mean, they get they got a line. I mean, if there's five spots, you got to fill all five spots up, correct? Yep. So he's writing you all these five things here. What one of them was? He kept calling calling it what a moped. Yep. Why is it not a moped? It is not a moped because it is not a vehicle. And when we look up moped, I I I had the see something cops don't do these pirates something you don't do you have to actually read. I know it's I know it's a it's a weird concept. But we went to the statutes and actually looked up definitions of what a moped is. Now, I'm, they're expecting me to know the law, right? Well, you're the one writing the effing ticket. You should know the laws. Mm -hmm. You should know the laws better than me. Yeah. So I look up moped means a bicycle that is equipped with a helper motor if the vehicle has a maximum piston displacement of 50 cubic centimeters or less. Meaning it has to have a motor on it with a piston. There's Spike no Bravo, motor. is there a motor on there? Yeah, no pistons. There's no pistons in it. Thank you. So, first off, him calling it a moped, operating moped without a valid Arizona registration. It's a bicycle. Yeah. So, I mean, every one of these, I went and looked at registration, they keep calling it a vehicle. Yep. So what do we do, Spike? We went and looked up what vehicle was. I, to our... I, I mean, a vehicle, uh, you've got the definition in front of you, so... Yeah, a vehicle means a device on or by which a person or property is or may be transported or drawn upon a public highway, excluding devices moved by human power. Uh huh. Now, I, it is, has pedals. Your, your bike can, has a pedal on. It's, I can pedal it. It's hard to do, but I can pedal it. It's possible. Yeah. So it's it's moved by human power. So, or this also talks about stationary rails or tracks, but that has nothing to do with yours. So, first of all, it has to be classed a vehicle, and it's not a vehicle, according Correct. to their, their their rules. Now, they they gave you operating a motor, a moped. Again, it's not a moped because clearly don't have a motor. Mm -hmm. Motor, but he wrote moped without a valid Arizona driver's license. Well, we looked up what it takes to have a valid driver's license. You have to be driving in a vehicle. We clearly state it's not a vehicle. So then we go down to. Uh, improper, what do you, no proof of insurance. 
Well, insurance has to do with insurance, according to the 284135C, has to do with a motor vehicle as well. It's not a motor vehicle. It's And then it, then they say you had no windshield. I mean, come on, man. No windshield? <laughs> yeah. uh, we looked up that statute, 288964A, and that has to do with uh, motorcycles. Motorcycle means a motor vehicle. Yep. We go back to vehicle, it means excluding stuff that is yeah. powered by humans. So, foot power. And then she went, before I got my camera out, the cop had approached me and he was asking me, uh, you know, where's the muffler? Where's the gas tank? No, he did but not the really. Minute, yes, he did. But then when I got my camera out and he noticed the camera, his attitude changed completely. He was that when I pulled my camera out, he immediately called for backup. He immediately. You're a terrorist. You're a terrorist. Spike exactly. Bravo's a terrorist. Spike Bravo's a terrorist, man. That's right. So, uh, I mean, this is the. This is where we're coming to, guys. I mean, literally, this guy, and, and tell him where you're going to, Spike Bravo. I was going to church. Oh, oh, you're a terrorist. <laughs> you're going to church. Oh, <laughs> man. We got to stop and give you $2,500 worth of tickets before you go to church, man. Yeah. How are you supposed to give anything to the offering, man? I mean, I, I try to tell my listeners, man, you, you don't even know the first of it. Even you said, man, I didn't realize really quite what you were talking about. But what did you think now? It just, it really woke me up because it, it's one thing to hear about it when it happens to other people and see videos of other people. Um, but, you know, I, I, I got pulled over on my electric bike. The thing's falling apart. It's a piece of crap, but it gets me where I need to go. And, you know, I mean, nine, thing barely friggin ro- cop ca- nine friggin' squad cars... Which are Fourteen brand cops, new at least. cars, brand new uniforms. But they're out of money. In a budget crisis. They're out of money. Pulled me over. They're all riding doubles, and they, they got brand new rides, brand new vests, Over, brand new everything. Overwhelming force to pull over a guy on a bicycle going to church. <laughs> You're a terrorist, man, on a Sunday afternoon. And what's very funny, man, when you guys see the video, there's like chemtrails flying right over your oh, head. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's priceless. <laughs> well, I was like, that's the first thing I was noticing. I was like, look at all this damn chemtrails planes <laughs> flying right over your head. And they're like worried about some dude driving his bicycle yeah. on the street. And they're getting sprayed with barium aluminum. When you see this show of force over a guy riding a electric bicycle, <laughs> I mean, it is the most bizarre thing I've I've seen in a lot, quite a while. They called me up and said, 449, you got to see this. You ain't going to believe it. And I said, oh, yeah, I believe it. This is what we're going to have to deal with in the future, guys. This this is not going away. This is only going to get worse. I don't, I don't know how you get worse, but, I mean, you got a guy on an electric bike getting t- totally I, attacked. But I'm telling you right now, guys, I've been warning about this. These pirates are, t- there's r- some really smart ones out there, but man, I'm telling you, the majority of them, either one, they don't give a shit, or they are literally just mentally handicapped. Well, see, I, I, I think a lot of it is that, and I know there are good cops out there, I've met some, but I think there's the big problem, especially in a conservative place like Arizona, is people think that once you put on a badge and a gun, you're somehow magically an ethical person, which is a pile of, you know, I mean, if you're going to think right, that, right. you might I as think well they re- believe in You know what, Santa I think Claus. they really do, but I think there may be a, a mental thing that they do think they're ethical. And that's why the whole term of the pirate is why I wanted to use is to show well, the what Nazis they were doing. Well, the thought they were ethical. The Gestapo thought they, they were, were ethical. Probably, they probably did think they were. And they thought they no, were doing they, something right. No, I've read Mein Kampf. They know they thought they were ethical. Hitler talks a great deal about how he was an ethical, an ethical person. If you read a lot of these psychos and sickos, these dictators, Saddam Hussein thought he was an ethical and it, person. And you know what? And, it, and so is Bush. And if you, if, you tell them, if you say that enough to yourself, you, you believe it. I mean, if you if you say it enough over and over and over, you will believe that you're doing something good. And that's what they teach them every day when they go back. When they go to their um, meetings in the morning, the officer, yeah. the, the sergeant says, oh, you're doing, oh, you're doing great work. The people love you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and it's an us and against them mentality. They, keep keep writing taught. tickets. And yeah. this guy, I, I'm thinking, I, I think he's a newbie. He's an older gentleman, but I'm starting to think he was a newbie. 
And he did, because they were all gathered around. It was like, like this was his first ticket or something. Well, if, you, was, see was cops, if you see a lot of the cops, um, especially the younger ones, what's really interesting is I've seen some of these cops who, uh, especially the, the female cops, I mean, literally, I could pick one up with one up with with one hand. They're so small. Yeah, and they frail are. They are fragile. real small and fall, aren't they? I mean, I've seen that over and over. They're real tiny women. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing. Like, it's like it's like they go out of their way to pick them. Yeah, tiny. I I mean, I I don't understand. I mean, well, because then the you have a cops. mentality. Because when you're small, then you when you get power with a gun, then you, you you're more vicious. Oh yeah. So, because, I mean, I mean these, these little people, they get, you know, attacked and bullied. Their whole and they, life, and then they give them a gun and a taser. Yeah, and they turn into the sadists that they right. were picked on previously. Well, man, some interesting stuff. You guys, go to Spike yeah. Bravo's channel, check it out. I mean, you ain't gonna believe this video when it comes out. I gotta get done editing and do some crap and blah, 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 and put it all together. I have another video of him, too, when he ran out front of the Freaking Speak studio and, and handed a cop a, a video. It was very funny. I don't and I, I'm going to do a lot more of that. I'm going to do a lot more activism. We really need to we need to crack down on a lot of these politicians and bureaucrats. Right. And I, I also want to encourage people to uh, donate what they can to Freedoms Phoenix because we got a lot of good people here. We do a lot of good work, but we need more money in order to continue the fight in the way that we can. We can be as big as Infowars.com. We can be as big as Alex Jones, but it's going to take, you know, some money and some effort on the part of people to come on down here, stop being an armchair activist, get involved. Uh, these, these pirates, they forced me to be involved. They forced me to be a better activist. They forced me to be uh, as somebody who fights more f for freedom, even more viciously. They messed around with the wrong people. Yeah, basically. You should have left you go. Yeah, and I mean, I, I know a couple of guys from, you know, InfoWars, the Sheldon, and 4409, and uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to be on the uh, Alex Jones show with my we'll 15 see. minutes of fame. <laughs> All right, man, that's here. That's from Private Watch, man. That's as, that's as much as we could do. We'll see you on the backside.